Tonight, there's growing concern about invisible threats in our environment. A recent study links people living near nanoplastic polluted oceans to higher risk of heart disease, stroke, and even diabetes. So what are nanoplastics? As CBS's medical contributor, Dr. Celine Gounder reports, they're found everywhere, including inside of us. So these bright spots, that's the plastics. Right. So Those spots so on Matt Campen's screen are tiny pieces of plastic found in tissue from a human kidney. Campen studies the health effects of environmental pollutants, and his lab at the University of New Mexico has, for the first time, found plastics in human brain tissue. So you've estimated that the amount of plastic in the brain could be roughly the size of a plastic spoon. Is that a lot? That is a lot. The fact that it's getting worse over time is really the issue. Scientists believe these microscopic particles, called nanoplastics, come from all the plastic people use and throw away. When plastic breaks down over time, it winds up in the food supply, the water we drink, even the air we breathe. And we're using more plastics than ever. Campen's lab has found more plastic in the brains of people with dementia than those without. Sounding great. Now research on these nanoplastics is moving out of the lab and into long-term clinical studies. We have more evidence now for the effects of plastic on children's chronic disease than we do of food dyes. We should be acting as fiercely on plastics in the food supply as we are on food dyes. New York University's Dr. Leonardo Trasande is tracking plastics impact on over 64,000 kids from pregnancy to adolescence, including eight-year-old Jack Glazer. Jack's mom, Tammy Freed Glazer. The amount of information that they're collecting is remarkable. They did cognitive studies on Jack, you know, height and weight and sonograms and and beyond. So far, Trasande's research has linked plastics to health problems, including hormonal issues with fertility and cardiovascular disease. Literally, the particle is a problem because it's a foreign body in a tissue. It might thrash the lining of the coronary artery, contributing to clogging. These are toxic drug delivery systems. The details are still emerging, but experts agree, less plastic is the way forward. Dr. Celine Gounder, CBS News, Albuquerque.